Universities and colleges are facing increased pressures to provide better mental health services on campus, while the students who attend post-secondary schools are experiencing more anxiety, depression and stress than students of the past. With the demand for counseling services on the rise, new tools are being provided to offer care and therapy for those struggling with mental health wellness at school. So we have a number of things, uh, exciting new projects uh, throughout this year. So from our side of things, from the student side, we offer this, um, it's called Empower Me, which is part of our 24-7 um, uh, counseling or uh, supports, whether that be in a crisis or um, any other level of um, you know, mental health struggles or anything, that they, concerns that they want to talk about, and that's only since last year. In 2016, approximately 44,000 students from 41 post-secondary schools were surveyed, and it was found that almost 10,000 of them were dealing with immense anxiety, depression, and other forms of mental health illness. Exams are definitely very stressful, and I think the switch from high school to university is it's kind of a big shock, actually. Uh, the stress realities are you can't do as well as you have in high school. I think that's the first major struggle students come to because ever, not everyone can commit the same amount of work as you can. They have to work as well to pay for tuition, and the courses are a lot harder in terms of the workload as well. Wellness centers on campus at University of Manitoba and University of Winnipeg have numbers listed online for students to contact. I called both universities. I didn't actually get a human on the phone my first or second try, but I did receive a call back from one university within 10 minutes of leaving the message. And there are off-campus resources listed online as well. But still, some students feel resources should be easier to find. It really takes a while or that first year to get a grasp of the whole new environment that you go through. It's depending if it's a mental issue or if you're struggling with your studies or something like that, the university does offer it, though I feel it's a bit maybe less, uh, less out there for people to figure out. Sometimes it's a bit harder to figure out that the university does offer that. The Student Counseling Centre is, is frankly is overworked and there's a, there's a lot of demand there and they've done a lot of work to try to help you know, mitigate some of this. They have special counselors for law, for Indigenous students, um, for music faculty, and I believe for nursing as well, which is fantastic. But again, that's, you know, there's always going to be more need. A statement, in part, sent to City News by a student from the University of Manitoba who wishes to remain anonymous said, I was at a breaking point, stressed about life and school. I had relapsed and cut myself after being clean for four years and was extremely suicidal. I called a helpline who told me to go to my counseling center at school because it's free and as a student I couldn't afford therapy. I went after class and I was told it's first come, first serve. They don't take appointments, so I had to come back at 7 a.m. the next morning. I got there was third in line, but that morning they only had two intake appointments, so I was turned away. For all new and returning students, if the online portals can't connect you with a person, your student council can direct you to the proper resource. If you or anybody that you know is suffering from mental illness, student or not, regardless of age, you can contact the Crisis Response Centre at 204-940-1781. Any hour of the day, any day of the week, someone will be there to answer your call. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.